Go ahead, Greg Hunter. So Josh, just the confidence level of this defense, you guys have played really well all season, but it seems like it's, it's improving each time out. You guys playing with more confidence than you've seen before? Uh, yes, we definitely are. We uh, prepare with confidence. Our coaches believe in us. We believe in each other. So we really just go out there and play for each other. Okay, John, to you. Hey Josh, you know, other than the, the ball going through Nick Troy's hands for that touchdown and the turnover, you guys pretty much stoned him. Did you get a feeling like you had a beat on him uh, later in the game? Yeah, yeah, we, we, we had two weeks to prepare for him, so we knew exactly what, what they were going to give us. We knew the type of players they had. We knew how they we were going to try to give them the ball with different sets, with different ways. We basically Everything we see in the game, we seen on field. So we were well prepared with it. Real quick, one more. You guys are able to bottle up Puka. Uh, just talk about what you're able to do to, to swarm him. I know he got the kickoff return late, but you guys pretty much handled him pretty well. Oh, uh, yeah. Puka's an all-conference player. Like, no, nobody, nobody doubts that. Like, we, we know exactly who we were playing. So he definitely came in. He was our number one focus, and we treated him as such. It sucks he got the kickoff, but it's definitely a learning experience for our young guys and basically people who was out, who was out there. The game's not over until it's over, and it's basically what it is. You got to finish it. Go ahead, Kevin. Josh, at one point in a game like this, does it feel like, hey, they are not going to gain any yardage on us? We, we kind of know we've got them contained. And what does that do for building confidence as tougher games come up in the future? Uh, yeah, it, it definitely builds a lot of confidence. We kind of get, get, in, get in the mode. Like, we're like, okay, we locked in. Like, <laughs> they're they about to get another yard. Like, nobody's getting nothing on us. But that's really just the swagger and confidence that we play with. Like, we, we've definitely prepared so. We can go in there and be 100% confident. Like, it is what it is. OK, Sam, you're next. Speaking of swagger and confidence, Josh, you popped a couple of kids today. Were you individually, did you have a little bit of an edge today? Or was it just kind of business as usual for you? Definitely business as usual. But um, I'll just say that, business as usual. Go ahead, Greg. All right, you ever seen a big guy make a athletic play like Darius Stills as interception? And you know, well, how much do you give him grief for, for you know defensive linemen making that play, or what, what do you say to him afterwards? Shoot, man, <laughs> that's one of the plays you guys took your hat off to. Like that's that, that's something you see on the playground. Like that's a that's a play that ninety percent of the people, ninety nine percent of the people in the country are not gonna make, especially at a D line position. I think, like, the last time we even got a pick was against Kansas, actually, my freshman year. Ezekiel Rose that caught a tip pass, but it was nothing like that. Like, I was <laughs> – he laid out like a wide receiver for that. Go ahead, Cody. Josh, I wanted to ask you about uh, Tony Fields and just what, what's the relationship between you two, like, and how important is it for, you know, the two linebackers to have a good relationship? So Tony, that's my dude. <laughs> like on and off the field, that's my dude. Like since he's come in, he's he's been a great leader for us, a great, great attribute to the linebacking core. Basically everything. It's like you go out there, you know you got two dogs out there. You're gonna run away from me, you're gonna run into him, run away from him, run into me. And then everybody else do their role too. So it's definitely it builds a confidence in the group. Like, man, we feel we feel both of we're the best out there. So it's basically just carried accordingly. Go ahead, John. Last one for me, Josh. Help me understand what that defensive front's doing that's enabling you guys to make plays, and why have they been so effective? Um, I feel like we, we're, we're, very, we're very talented up front, and then Coach Leslie has a knack for coming up with different schemes, stunts, and twists, and we basically just feed off of it. And then you got to realize, like, they also have to count the linebackers in the box. So maybe you might count a linebacker one time and miss a deep tackle because he's slanting in such a way you might think someone has a gap and someone doesn't. So it's, it's definitely very confusing for an offensive line, especially if you don't see it consistently. One more here. Um, I'm usually watching the ball like everybody is, but there are times when Stills is blowing up that center and just mm -hmm. taking him right back into the quarterback. Are you seeing that as a linebacker? And is that something that's, that's helping you a lot? I definitely have, have been caught like in awe, like, like whoa, like did <laughs> you just do that? But um, yeah, it, it definitely helps. Like if he if he's able to eliminate two gaps literally by putting the offensive lineman in the backfield, that's a tremendous help. Okay, Josh, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you.